Hello ladies and jelly beans, it is I, ECM Cookies, once again, and honest to god, um, I'm still in shock, and awe, and amazement, and I'm bound to cry again, hopefully I don't, because, eh. but, all in all, I survived, I don't know why I'm doing this, I survived How to Train Your Dragon 2 today, and no offense, but every fucking thing you do, it just makes noise. No offense, Toothy, I love you, bruh, but seriously? Okay, I'm gonna stop abusing this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna abuse this thing, because it's precious, and I've always wanted a toothless plushie. I mean, there's... I think, I think there's toothless plushies right now at Build-A-Bear, but I don't have time to go to Build-A-Bear. STOP! <laughs> Good lord! And I still have to open these things over here. Um, actually, I really shouldn't open them. I mean, they're collectibles right now. Collectibles. Collectibles. I just have too fucking many of these things. I mean... What the fuck? I mean, and I have so many of the books too, and it's... It's hell. It's how to train your dragon hell. But then again, how can it be hell when it's how to train your motherfucking dragon? But anyway, um... How to train your dragon 2. Oh my god. By far, the best movie of this year. To me, anyway. To anyway. And... I wouldn't call it my number one favorite movie of all time now. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 2 has that position. Possibly, oh god. It does, if the Desolation of Smaug is my second favorite movie of all time, I'd probably make How to Train Dragon 2 my third. If not replacing it with the second, I don't know. And DreamWorks, DreamWorks' approach with this movie, the way they displayed it and the way they carried it out, if I could describe that with one word, or in one word, it would be ballsy. This movie is ballsy. At least DreamWorks made it totally ballsy. But at the same time, it has its, it has its same heartfeltness as uh, the first movie. But it is darker. It is, mu like, in my opinion, much darker than the first. Like, holy shit, this movie! And it's and just to point out, it's really hot in here. I don't know why. It really shouldn't be. Uh, I might have to turn my fan up a little more. Uh, yeah, but I make it hot in a minute. And oh. this movie, this movie's just fucking amazing. I don't want to reveal anything. I'm not gonna really. I'm not gonna reveal anything for those that have not seen it yet. You guys have to fucking see it. That's all I can tell you. Go fucking see it. It is worth your damn money. Um, and, it's, and it's worth the hour and 45 minutes. Um, or an hour and 30 minutes. I don't know how long it is, so... It's, a, it's between an hour and 30 and an hour and 45 minutes, so, uh, yeah. Um, this movie is extremely ballsy. It is heartfelt. It is sad as fuck. Uh, it's badass. It's just amazing. DreamWorks put their heart and soul into making this film, um, and it's getting really good reviews. Rotten Tomatoes, like, gave it a little over 90%. What? Oh, and other critics are saying it's better than Brave and Frozen combined. I'm like, fuck yeah, it is. Frozen and Brave don't got shit on this movie. At least that's my humble opinion. I don't hate Frozen and I don't hate Brave, but... I'm not as much of a Disney fan as I, as I used to be, since Disney's a corporate money-gripping whore. DreamWorks is not. Like, sure, they do need the money to make these movies, and they, yeah, they need to get something out of it, apart from love and respect, but they're dedicated to their characters, and they work their asses off doing what they can, and they bring so many stories and characters to life that many like, people of all ages can love and connect with. And that's really amazing. And they're 
they they are considerate of their fans. I actually uh, I talked with uh, not talked, but I, e I was uh, sharing emails with uh, one of their staffers uh, maybe about a week or so ago, and uh, it was really uh, it was really nice. Don't ask what because I'm not in the I don't want to tell you. Um, my sister is in the bathroom right next to me. Right, that done. Not that door, this door to my right. There's one door here that's to the hallway, and this is this way. This is my bathroom. Um, this movie. It's, it's ballsy. It's... Give me a moment to just topple down on the floor and just... Oh. Oh my god, this movie! It's fucking awesome. Oh my god, this movie. It's amazing. I'm not gonna reveal anything. I'm not gonna reveal anything about the story, but the story is grand. And the villain, Drago Bloodvist, is a fucking psychopath. But at the same time, he's so badass. And I love him. Not like in that way, shut up, peoples. I love this villain. I love the villain. Like, he's capable of doing shit that I never expected a human being like him to do. I'm not talking about magical bullshit, but he does something with the dragons, and I'm like, the fuck? And there have been, there were what the fuck moments in this movie. Not like bad what the fuck moments, but it made me go like, what the fuck? Uh, there were parts that made me go, ah, parts that made me squee. The thing that made me squee the most was fucking Toothless. I don't care what y'all say, he is the man. He is my man. Toothless is my man. He's my boy. I was rooting for him all the way through. I was rooting for Hiccup, too. Hiccup looked good, man. I'm not denying it when I say this. Hiccup looked good. But I'm not like all those drooling fangirls out there like, Oh, he's so hot! He's hot enough for Jack Frost! Hijack fans. Not that I don't mind hijack, I just don't ship it. I don't ship it. I ship Tooth Cup. But it's a 50-50 thing for those who know me. It's a 50-50 thing. Recall that. Um, I hope this fan is not annoying you because I'm kind of getting distracted by it by my, like myself. I'm like... Look at this fan! It's just <laughs> And then I move my head this way. <laughs> Sorry. Had to do that. Um, I have to hug my plushie like, oh my god. Like this fucking movie, man. This fucking movie is so good. I It's Oscar worthy in my humble opinion. Hopefully that Big Hero 6 movie that's coming out, uh, later this year is not going to top it off because if that wins an Oscar over Hunter Dragon Dragon 2 then the people who vote who vote or the whatever the voters I don't know who the the, the academy if the academy votes that as better than Hunter Dragon 2 then you know what I'm going to do this I'm bringing out my guns okay these are my guns okay And speaking of these things, I'm sorry, but, uh, Wild Drago Bloodvis was really interesting, and I was like, but at this, and I was, and I thought he was really cool, but he's an absolute dick! He's a meanie! He's mean! And he's cruel! It's the same thing, but you get what I mean! And he's a dick! And on behalf of, particularly, but mostly Hiccup and Toothless, on behalf of those two, they may not, they most likely do not know this modern gesture yet. But on behalf of them, I will do this toward Drago Bloodfist. Fuck you! So there you go. Uh, Hiccup in this movie was amazing. Stoic was amazing. And then Valka was fucking awesome. Fucking love Vol Volca, and there was a moment with her, and then there's these things. I'm not trying to reveal things, because I want you guys to see it for yourself. I'm not re revealing any little details apart from the fact that the characters were great, the story was great, uh, things happen, and then I'm gonna cry in a second, because of 
because there are some sad things and there is I am burping sorry because I just ate I'm sorry I had to eat like I spent past hour after I like when I got home like trying to recover from this movie I still have it um hopefully I don't cry in a minute because that's how sad part of this movie is and I sound sad right now my voice is like going crazy um it has its heartfelt in moments, but there's this really, really sad part. Like, it's one of the things, it's it's sad, but the thing that makes it sad, not only for the fact that it is sad as fuck, but it's unexpected. And, as I said, it is it was ballsy of DreamWorks to do it. Extremely ballsy. And the way it happened, the way it happened, I'll give you a hint, it involves Toothless and in the way it happened. The way... I'm sorry. Oh, just the way it happened. Like, it did involve Toothless and it was really sad. It was extremely ballsy, and part of me, I was just crying. Like, I'm crying going out, but I was actually, more like, in the theater. <laughs> but I was crying, and I was tearing up, and I'm tearing up now. I, well, I literally had tears streaming down my cheeks right now. I just have tears welling up in my eyes. Um, it was ballsy, and it made me go, what the fuck? Like, DreamWorks, why would you do this? Is there a particular reason why you did this? I mean, I'm pretty sure there is, but I'm like, I hope you didn't do this, just, what the fuck? I'm primarily like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Once again.